Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Amira and I'm here with the October Take 5 Art Prompts. Uh, really, really excited for this month's prompts. They are brought to us by the beautiful Julia McNeil Crafts. I will put her details below. Check her out on Instagram and check out her YouTube channel. Seriously talented and seriously coming up with some amazing things uh, in the past couple of months. Congratulations, Julie. I'm really happy for you. So the prompts this month are really exciting and a little bit challenging as they always are. Um, we're starting off with watercolors and for that I've got my Prima watercolors, I've got Decadent Pies, Pastel Dreams and the Classics. Um, there's a little bit, there's a color from each of these that I wanted to try. Um, the next theme is Galaxy, and yay, I've done Galaxy before, love it, you get a chance to play and have a good time, no two galaxies are ever the same, so it's really a good little project. Now what I thought I would do was use um, my watercolor paper, I'm not going to be using any of my journals, I think that it's a bit touch and go with that one. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll just do it on some papers and perhaps make some cards or perhaps uh, stick it into my journal. We'll see how we go. Um, the third prompt is stamp and I'm using this Stampin' Up! Thoughtful Branches uh, set and I think I'm gonna go for this uh, little um, stamp here of the three uh, trees together. So, and for that I've got archival ink. Um, we're also adding sparkle and I scratched my head thinking how am I going to add sparkle? So I pulled a few things, I've got some sequins, I've got some Nubo sparkle stars, I have got some uh, glitter glue that always creates nice sparkle and I've got some Bow Bunny uh, glitter paste which I was thinking of using through a stencil, maybe, maybe not. We'll see how we go. And lastly, stickers. And uh, I thought I would grab my sticker book by Dear Lizzie. And I've got some clear stickers here that, you know, I'm gonna try and make them work. So let's see how we go. Here we go. Um, uh, thank you for joining us and let's get started. So I'm gonna start off here by putting down my craft mat. And uh, I'm going to take one of these watercolor papers and set it down. I am going to tape my paper down. Uh, this is mainly, now it's a craft mat, so it's non-sticky, and so it's not to hold the paper down. Mainly, it is to provide just a little bit of a border around the watercolor uh, end product. Um, I really like that look, and so I'm just using masking tape here. I've got a little bit of water in a bucket nearby, plus I've got a little bit of a rag and my watercolor pans are open and I'm going to get started. So before I start adding the watercolor, I'm just going to spritz the paper and the most important part of any watercolor that you do, and especially Galaxy, is to make sure that you have lots of water on your paper. You need to have good paper, which is why I didn't use any of my journals. This is 300 GSM watercolor paper, so it can take a lot of water. And I do put a lot of water, a lot of the watercolor will pool. And you know, this is what makes that beautiful flowy effect. And as you can see here, I'm just adding the pastel colors. And now I am starting with my favorite. I started with the purple, which is the lilac grain. And then I went on to the green, which is paradise. These are Prima watercolor uh, names. So maybe I'm not gonna use those names and I'll just go ahead and use the visual colors that you can see in front of you. I start off light uh, and that's with the pastel pans and then I start going in there with the darker colors as I, I guess, as I get more confident and as uh, you warm up. Now, uh, through the process of osmosis, <laughs> and sorry to be such a science geek here, but particles go from the highest concentration to the lowest concentration. So as you put down your color, it dissipates and it gets lighter. And of course, also as it dries, it also gets lighter. So the other tip that I'll give you about doing Galaxy is it's really important to layer. Now, as you can see here, after I put my first layer down, everything dries and with watercolors, everything also dries a lot lighter. Um, so I am just going back in now, going over my first layer with the same colors. And I'm just gonna put a second layer of color on. Where you don't like the colors that you put in the first layer, you can cover them with the second. 
and uh, with the second layer I also start getting a little bit more bolder and I use some of the darker colors so here are the blue and the purple and this is where I now think okay I am trying to do a galaxy I'm not just playing with my favorite colors I need to do a galaxy and the galaxy sky is mainly dark although uh, you know you do have a lot of the other colors in the middle the dark goes around the outside my secret weapon are two colors in the decadent pie pan. The first one is 36, which I call dark blue. My second color is number 35, which I call the black blue. It's just this beautiful dark navy sky, which really adds to the feeling of galaxy. So um, here I am just adding a little bit of uh, lighter color to mix, and I'm, I'm trying not to uh, mix with my paintbrush. I'm just dropping the colors in and then I use my heat gun to kind of whirl it around and let it do its own thing naturally and to dry naturally. This last third layer is where I cover the hard line marks. You'll see harsh lines where the watercolor has dried in pools and so I'm just softening it up here with the last layer adding a little bit of lighter colors also mixing it around and making it kind of more galaxy-ish <laughs> and of course this is subjective you guys you'll do as you do um, and it, you know the best thing here is that I just played and had such a good time I, I forgot that I was actually doing a project and I just kept adding and, and drying and adding and drying um, and then I thought okay I need to stop at some stage so this is where I stopped I thought let's just have a look at the trees let's see what this looks like as a galaxy sky in context to trees so this is where I use the prompt for stamping and I um, stamped these uh, naked trees down the bottom so that kind of gave me a reference so you know pink uh, horizon and then uh, no galaxy is complete without a little bit of the splatter this is white acrylic with a toothbrush i didn't add any water to my uh, to my acrylic paint this is just pretty it's really flowy acrylic paint so it was enough and just like that it creates a beautiful sky with lots of stars Now for the prompt of sticker, I ended up just using the sticker as my quote. And this is one of the stickers from the Dear Lizzie quote uh, sticker book. Uh, and I use the quote wild and free and it's just so, so great. I really love it. I love how it's uh, a clear sticker. You can see the edges, but it's better than the white sticker. Now my next prompt is the sparkle prompt. I did think about putting sequins on, but decided against it because I wanted it to go in my book, so I wanted it to be flat. I decided to use glitter uh, glue through a stencil, and it looks really sparkly. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I decided to put it along the edges because I wanted the confetti stars, the gold confetti stars in the middle. Also, I wanted that white splatter to show in the middle so I decided to put the glitter glue on the outside and the stars to glitter and sparkle on the inside of the page and I'm just adding it on here with PVA glue. So final product reveal, I am just removing the tape. I had a little bit of a bleed on the outside there, so all I had to do really was put some acrylic paint down and it looks fine. So last of all, I decided to stick this page in my Diane Reevely, no, my Dina Wakely, I always get those two confused, uh, journal. And uh, yeah, all in all, I had a great time with this month's prompts. You guys should definitely give galaxies a go if you haven't before, so much fun. Remember, no two galaxies are the same and there's no such thing as making a mistake. It's just getting better and giving it a go and enjoying the time to do it. 
I can't wait to see how the other girls' galaxies turn out. I can't wait to see the supplies that they used and what they used for Sparkle. I wonder what they used. Uh, check out all the details below. I'll leave them in the description box. Hop on over, give the girls some likes and some love and some comments. Thank you so much for joining me this month and I'll see you in my next video.